This is a tutorial that is going to show you how to load your movie files into Blackboard. So this can be either narrated PowerPoints that you've created with Profcast, or it can be segments of actual video that you've shot. So I'm just going to show you how to load it into Blackboard. So the first thing we need to do is open our web browser, and that's Safari here on the Mac. And once that opens, we'll need to navigate to our Blackboard page. So I'll go ahead and put in the address there. and navigate to the Blackboard page. We'll go ahead and hit OK and then log in. So now it'll bring up my classes. I'll trust these applets. And I'm going to go to COM 110 because that's a class from last semester so I can kind of play around in there and, and not have it affect anything. And when you log in to here and you want to upload a video, you've got to make sure you have the Build tab selected. And then adding the video is just like adding any other type of file, such as a Word document or a PowerPoint file. You're just basically adding a file. So we'll go to the Add File tool, and we'll browse for files until we find the movie that we want to upload. So we'll use the My Computer function, and then we'll go to Choose a File. And I have one on my desktop that I want to use, so I'm going to upload my COM297. This is actually a narrated PowerPoint. I'm going to choose to upload it. Select it and select Choose. And then hit OK once I've found the file that I want to use. Now you can upload multiple files here. So you can upload a lot of files at once, and then you can arrange those later if you would like within your Blackboard page, or you can just do them one at a time. It really doesn't matter. The only difference that you're going to find is the length of time it takes to upload these files. And the longer the movie is, the larger the file it is, so the larger it'll take to upload. So it may take a while to upload here. After your file completes uploading, it'll tell you the items were created, and a link to you that each item was added to the home page. And so if we scroll down here in Blackboard, we can see, yes, COM297 retrieving and evaluating information has been made on the home page. Now there's one more thing that you want to do. Right now, when the students click on this, it will open within this Blackboard browser. And I'll go to Teach and show you an example of how that looks. All right, so it loads the QuickTime player right inside your Blackboard framework. And as you'll see in a moment, there's a little bit of a problem with that because you can't access the QuickTime tools down here. And sometimes parts of the slide will be cut off. Or parts of your video will be cut off at the top and at the bottom. And so in order for your students to have the best experience, what you'll need to do is you'll need to set it to open in a new window when students click on that link. This is a presentation on retrieving and evaluating information for communication research methods. First, let's go over some reasons for reviewing previous research. One, it allows you to organize existing knowledge. So in order to find out what... So as you're able to see there, the controls didn't show up and part of the slide was cut off on the top of the screen. So now I'm going to show you how to make that open in its own window so students have full access to all the capabilities of the video you've created. You'll click on the down arrow and you'll click Customize Link and then you'll click open in a new browser window. You'll click Save, and now we'll go back to the Teach tab and again preview what it's going to do now. Now it's going to open a new browser window and just your students will have access to all the controls within QuickTime. This is a presentation on retrieving and evaluating information for communication research methods. First, let's go over some reasons for reviewing previous research. One, it allows you to organize existing... So you can see here, the students have access to controls such as volume, play, pause, and they can scroll now that we've opened this up in a new window rather than having it open up inside the Blackboard framework. So that's all you need to do in order to put a video on the Blackboard. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you.